What you're looking at first is our drill holder and our router holder. Uh, we have many jobs set up at one time. We like to run lean manufacturing, so uh, this may be filled up. Here on the table, we're going to be machining one rotor molded part. Uh, we have a drill for each hole that we need to put in there, and we have our router set up as well for what is needed. We number each drill with a piece of tape and marking it, uh, if it's a 1 8 drill or a number 5 drill, whatever it is, it's marked on the drill itself. Uh, right now you see the operator looking at the work instructions. We have them in English and Spanish with the pictures on how to do the part. Here he's putting a routing fixture on top of the part. This is made of 5 8 plywood. It's birch plywood. Um, we are routing it with a bearing so it doesn't have uh, doesn't cause any wear on the wood itself. We're using a quarter inch cutter with a 5 8 bearing. Some people are afraid to use wood. Um, these fixtures here are about at least 10 years old. Again, he's reading the instructions. He's using a drill fixture to drill through the hole. And it goes on the other side. On all our drill fixtures, we have hardened steel bushings in the correct place, and we locate them with locating pins that will nest it around the part. Now he takes the next drill and routing fixture, the combination. He nests it with the pins around the part. He's drilling in a drill hole. And so the fixture doesn't even move. He makes sure by putting in a pin in there, to make sure it has no movement at all after he drills it and he will route it also. Again, these are steel bushings, hardened steel bushings that he's going into. The fixes can be made on a bridge board or a CNC machine. Now he's just putting in a 1 8 cutter router bit and routing out the opening. He's looking at the directions one more time with the picture. He puts the fixture on top of the part, make sure the pins are nested around the part itself. He drills a hole in the part, and now he's going to pin this as well, just to make sure there's no movement whatsoever with the fixture. And also the pin, as you notice, is below the surface of the fixture so the router is able to pass through.
It removes the fixture of the pin. And now you have a finished part.